Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. We didn't even get started on what we're supposed to talk about yet. So I think we might as well, we might as well jump in. We might as well jump in here. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into this conversation by showing you guys um, a meme. I mean, which I basically shared with Babyface and Patrick here, and I will throw it up on the screen Peter for you Babyface guys. Babyface and Patrick? Oh, Walter. I mean, Babyface and Walter. Double. Sorry. I got a double shared. <laughs> yeah, you got you got double call out. Where yeah. You uh, <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. I'm going to show my meme first, and then we'll talk about this news. Boom! So for the people listening, it's Get Off My Lawn. It has our character, Tactical Fat, that we invented over here. And it has the... Uh, I don't know what these people are being called right now, but this is the St. Louis couple that was out on their uh, their lawn. We oh. call Americans. That's what yeah, I got a I got there. a good story we're, that goes along. We're gonna, with we're gonna get into this conversation right now. Hey, let me pull up this. Uh, let me pull up the news. This 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 is all over the internet. This is all over the internet. Trump reposted things, and everybody's fighting about it right now. So. I figure this is a good time for us to have this conversation. St. Louis couple defend their home when protesters enter private neighborhood. And they're showing uh, these guys. The husband, for everyone listening on audio, has, uh, first of all. He's straight out of 1985. Yeah, he's got on not, a pink not the shirt. Book, members only. Not the book, like the year. Yeah, he's straight polo. out of Miami Vice. Yeah, he's got on a pink polo shirt and he's got an AR. Tucked into his like nice, nice uh, trousers. Yeah, it looks kind of retro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. An and AR the, that hasn't been upgraded since 1980. Right. The wife looks. Is that a Walther? Is that a? Walther I think it was. Is? It looks like one, but I'm not sure. I, yeah. I couldn't get a close enough picture. Yeah, she's got some kind of stainless pistol, which, but and it she's got like, her finger on the trigger. It looks like a PPK. Trigger. Yeah, so let me get let me read this real quick here, and then everyone will uh, will let everyone get their uh, get their piece of this here. Yesterday, about three hundred protesters opened the gate and entered a private neighborhood in St. Louis Central West End area. The protesters were reportedly headed to St. Louis Mayor uh, Lita Cruson's home to demand her resignation. There was some whole stuff that went down, and people are mad at her. You know, relative to everything that's happening in the country right now, the owners of one of the properties. The protesters passed, given recent rioting and burning that has grown out of protests in St. Louis and around the country, were concerned about the marchers and what their intentions might be. Both homeowners armed themselves and stood outside in order to defend their home. Um, and then there's video here that you guys could see. Let me see. I'll try to play this. I don't know if it's going to play any audio through to you guys. Uh, maybe it won't play. Uh, no, it can't be played. So there you go. Uh, you can, I'm sure you've all seen this footage. Here's the gate, um, which they they uh, forced through. I don't think it's forced through here at this point. This picture um, of the gate, but we'll we'll go back to this. All right, that so, was all private that property. All, all private property, 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 property on a private road. They were trespassing the whole time so on a private road. Game, it's game on. Who were walking <laughs> On, so friend. I love that the protesters were like, oh my God, there were people pointing guns at protesters. Oh, it was like, oh. you're walking on their private property. It's private private property. road. You can't go there. <laughs> you don't go there. No. Um. Yeah. So so a funny a funny offshoot of this last night because uh, I I got into it. It was it hit the it hit the internet news. I'd mm -hmm. say about seven o'clock, maybe eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. um and so i was on 4chan and 4chan was just going nuts talking about it and this yeah. one twitter user decided to post hey uh let's dox these people let's ruin their careers let's ruin their businesses blah 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 so the internet decided to get their just desserts and doxed the the twitter user <laughs> and he he now has like oh, closed boy. off all of his accounts his account is private his websites are like closed you can't go there so you be, be careful what you ask yeah. for. Yeah, and, and by uh, the way, they're out, their names is out there because I know I have an article with them. Uh, let's see, I think this is a Fox News article here that we could show. Uh, what to know about Portland, uh, to know about Portland Place, where St. Louis couple pointed guns at protesters. Uh, and it's got their name um, in this article. It doesn't take I don't a, know if I'll get into it. All you gotta do it, is go in the yeah. county yeah, records thing. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not can, difficult yeah. to find their name. You can get anybody's name. It's not, no, it's it's not, not a big deal. 
So it says they live at a private street in St. Louis historic district. Why is this disc? Oh, I hate these ads that pop up. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, come on. Okay, they live in a, a private street in St. Louis's historic district lined with million dollar homes. Demonstrators were on their way to protest at the home of the mayor. It go, goes into that whole thing and it shows here's some like. I guess they've so got the pictures of the, yeah, of the area of these mean, guys right? with the guns. It, sh it should read that the protesters destroyed a, a gate to get on the private property. Yeah. Um, so not now, that they were going... So now in this video, so, okay, let me... Um, obviously, we've got multiple things that we want to talk about here. Walter, do you want to just angle your camera down a little bit? You're in the middle of the screen, so we're... I know you're looking at... There you go. Bring it down. Down, down. down. There, you can't good. quite see. Never mind. There you go. All right. So there's a whole bunch of different things going on here. First of all, I want to say on my part, I 100% understand where they're coming from, right? I think they said they were having lunch or something like that. They heard all this noise. This is private property. This whole area, this whole community is private property, which mm -hmm. these guys broke through the gate. They heard all this noise. They didn't know it could be the start of the apocalypse going on. Uh, they get their guns. They go outside. Uh, I think they have... I think they have the right to defend their home, their property, etc. What I would say is there's some very, uh, I wish they would get some training. They're supposed to be lawyers and obviously people that have the wherewithal to do that. They're definitely missing out on some training here. She has, so for example, the wife has her hand on the trigger while she, you know, <laughs> of this gun. She's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, she's ready to rock and roll while she's standing behind him. So what, 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 you know, that one thing I'm going to say real quick, mm -hmm. the 2A community does not know how to they, uh, immediately they eat each other alive. They don't have any training. They're this, they're that, they're this, they're that. It's like, uh, hello, 99.9% .9 of Americans don't have any training. Yeah, I would rather have 99% of Americans have guns than have 1000 with training. Okay. Thank you. Boom. All right. Boom. Listen. I'm talking about, when you talk about training, a lot of people talk about training. They mean like going and getting trained, not take your finger off the trigger training. They just, oh, you got to go to a class, you know, okay. shoot. And Listen, Walter, you know. I think that, first of all, I think in the case of these two people, there's a, most gun people are probably on their side, which, which is what the first thing I said. But I think there's some things that could go badly wrong for them here. I, I mean, I, I was looking at this video. She could have very easily shot her husband in the back of the head, the thing she was doing with that gun. Okay? Well. So, I mean, you, you all of these kinds of things you have to think about. I'm not trying to tell anyone to go out there and become a tactical ninja become a navy seal or anything like that but there's some stuff that you know you might you might want to think about these things before you get into things there's pictures of her going directly and pointing that gun at the protesters okay okay so i mean hey they got I, the know. point yeah okay, okay. they got don't, the point don't, my don't friend get on my property right and, yeah, and you don't want a gun it, pointed at you don't come on my property don't get on my property yeah, I mean, I'll tell you something. Wait, if look, I have there's too many there's too many videos out there of people getting beat the out of themselves, minding their own business. And that's bull sorry. Done. Over. Done. And when I see somebody getting beat up, I think automatically pull a gun, I'll start shooting everyone. Did Boom. you he, we here uh, we're gonna quick tangent, but did you see that guy at a he was one of the people that was trying to protect a monument like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, that got Antifa got went after him and were beating on him. He pulled a gun and shot one of them and oh, put him yeah. in the hospital. They arrested the guy. Uh, the the end of last week, they let him go with no charges. Yeah, it's self defense. Because it was self defense, they were beating him in the head with a skateboard. Got off, no charges. If, if it's one on one, it's 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 iffy. But if a group like are if a if a group are attacking you, you got every right to shoot every one. Yep. Okay. So, done. Over. Finished. Yeah. Well, I understand <laughs> everything you're saying, Walter. I understand what you're saying. You have the right to but, say that. But. <laughs> but. But. I'm telling they you. Didn't what have the, training. Uh, listen, Walter. Walter. A lot of what they were doing is stupid. <laughs> and you could talk with bravado and all that kind of stuff. If she wound up shooting her husband, it, 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 would, it would not. It wouldn't make any sense. It, if he wound up shooting her. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. You know what? What good is that going to do? Let's first let's of go all, with this. if you're going to if you're going to go out to a crowd of people, right? If there's hundreds of people going through your neighborhood and you go out with like a, a pistol with six rounds, okay, if that's what you got, that's what you got. But you're. But there's a part of this here. I'm not saying I disagree with these people or I don't support them. I showed you guys 
the the meme that I put up. I said that I, that I support them doing it. But but we you gotta you know we have to try to be better than that. Stupid history leads to stupid history. How did anybody okay? get hurt? No. Did Fortunately the, for everyone. Did, did anybody get hurt? No. Fortunately what, for everyone. Did what they do accomplish what they needed to do? They protected yes. their home successfully. I think it's a win. I think there's lots of bad things. I think there's <laughs> lots of bad things in there, guys. There's this, lots this of bad things a, in there. This 2A thing is, or gun people, they automatically just attack one another like vultures. I don't think it's attacking if you point it's, out things that are, that are, but you, you don't know, realize that, are, that, gets that are correct used against to point out. So what? So what? It's not necessary. It's just, why it, it, why it, should it, we be dogmatic to each other? Why should we be dogmatic to each other? Why not? Just, why do we have to automatically call out? He's got pink shirt on. He's got this on. He's got this on. Does it I didn't really say anything matter? about a picture. What if pink. you showed up out there and you came out in your in your in your in your underwear? Oh, look at him. He's in his underwear. He got no clothes. You know, it's like. Yeah. I'd Shoot. come out naked if I had to shoot. Shooting gallery, any shooting gallery, any gave us two bucks here. He says de-escalate instead of escalate. You know, if there's a crowd of people, if there's a crowd of people, listen to me, Walter, Walter. I'm I'm listening. Listen, but I'm, let me explain something to you. This could have well, gone go ahead, very go badly go. wrong for these people. We could talk like talking about stuff from bravado, from a bravado point of view, and being practical about what you're gonna do, this could have gone very, these two, first of all, if they're defending their house and they're standing on their thing, I get that. Their, their, their handling could have hurt them. Okay, two, she's like walking away from her husband with a pistol to go out there to those people, right? It's very easily, if someone rushed her, it will be, will be in a completely different situation. There's a lot of things that they're doing wrong. That's, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying, hey, these kinds of things I would not do. I would be careful about doing this particular thing. We've seen, I, we've seen, so we've shown it here. Lots of people defending their property and their businesses and doing it in a completely different way. Okay, if we're if we as gun guys are gonna act like we're in freaking Mogadishu and we're not gonna aim and we're gonna do stupid, shit, if something actually goes down, you're gonna wind up with your beaten. If you're lucky, you're gonna probably wind up dead. Right or he wrong? Had a he, he had a 30 round mag, my friend. If, uh, look, look, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you about it. It's not important. It doesn't matter. First thing, nobody got hurt. No property got damaged on their property anyways. And it, and the de-escalation was because somebody had a gun. It wasn't because... I agree. Those, the, the survey says, and it happens every time, watch it every time. It all starts out kind of peaceful. And then all we, of a sudden, somebody starts throwing. We shit have we have hit screaming the mark. and chanting like 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 it's like it's some kind of, and then the all line. of a sudden it just goes into a rage. There, the <laughs> the line time. is here, and we are now beyond it. It is time to start showing force if right. somebody is invading People, your property. Right. Listen, right. Past the I, point of I, saying, I guarantee oh, you, gotta you if up. somebody was on Too your much. if a whole herd was on your property, you come outside with a gun. Yep. If you didn't, you're once they come into your house, it's too late. It's too yeah, late. Yeah. Uh, you, but you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm not coming down <laughs> on these guys. I'm just trying to say, look, it's the same thing. We should all we should all try to make each other better, right? I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I know everything, or I'm the most tactically ready person, or anything like that. I'm not saying I but if either. you make mistakes, so for example, if your wife, but if you and your wife are in your property trying to defend your property, and your wife's like walking away from you, pointing a gun at people, and you think, yes, for them they got lucky. There was no one else. If, if someone there decided to challenge her or go after her or someone else had a gun there, they'll be in a bad position. If there's two of you out there, you should stay together. You should stay in the same place. If you're in the same place, you have to think about where the other person is that you care about before you wind up putting bullets in them. Okay, that's, that's what I'm trying to tell Once you. Again, there's things that people could do here that can, you know, to me, it's a... I already said that I support what they did, but it's a teachable moment. Try to be better. Don't just think because you're bad. Well, my, my problem you know, is or in your brain you think you're bad that you can actually survive something or you know exactly what's going to happen to you. That's that's my problem. Is I think I don't think people understand that in heat heat of the moment things you are you're going to perform perfectly. They like. I don't care how much training you got. No, doesn't matter. I don't give of course not. Of course not. If all of a sudden rocks and bottles start going and people start shooting at you, you okay. can't you can't train your way out of it. 
No. Why do you think... So Sorry, you guys have never okay. heard of police officers running into a situation with someone and they start shooting at each other? They start the firefight? Because, uh, because someone's finger's on the trigger and guns start going off and people uh, start reacting? You never heard about that. I'm well, not sure I mean, the point. It, it happens, that wasn't what happened here. Once again, here you're bringing something up that happens so rarely. Nine it times out of ten, it ain't the cops shooting the cops. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That, no, that okay. happens. Gonna, uh, I'm not going to go into this what if thing, you know, because that's, we can that's the problem. What if all night? What if all night? Did it? Did what did you succeed? Yes. Did was it pretty? No. No. Self defense okay, is and rarely. Self defense is rarely pretty. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, fighting tyranny, doing all that sort of stuff. That's not pretty. And and your perfect, your perfect ass out face forward. Uh, you know, square up to your target, aim and shoot, is not what happened. Yeah. That's that yeah. bullshit. And, and like I said, just watch the, all the other videos going on, and it never happened. It, it always turns into all of a sudden a, just a You know what? I've like said a, it before. Like I've said it before. Like, there's a lot of people who think that because they have guns, that they're ready for some shit, or because they have a lot of guns, that they're ready for some shit. There's a lot of people, including gun guys, who are actually not even close to being ready for anything i think so, so no i don't think we're in disagreement so there. being being lucky <laughs> is is it's never the right there's never the right all, way all, of course all context, you, you want to be way. lucky but you want to be deliberate you want to be deliberate oh. in your life you want to be deliberate okay and deliberate just doesn't mean like oh i got a gun <laughs> it, it takes a little bit more than that okay you need to think about what you're doing because to just for us as gun guys, like I get where everyone's coming from, but for me as a gun guy, when I look at that, there's a lot of things that I see there that's wrong. I'm not seeing that they're wrong because they own guns. I'm not seeing that they're wrong because because they heard these people coming through and they decided to go out there and defend their property. I'm just telling you, whether you like it or not, from my point of view, there's some really bad things there. And if we allow ourselves to believe, that, hey, that's okay. Because everything was fine, that's uh, you know that's that's stinking thinking that's going to lead to a lot of people getting hurt and a lot of people who think they're bad actually get in their is kicked. But whatever, <laughs> you know. There, there are. <laughs> I'm not just going to jump all the if, way on the bandwagon with with if that. If there, if there's a civil war or pro mass protesting in your city, there are going to be casualties on yeah. both sides. And if you, if you, if you get into this. And you go out there like those guys, you will be the casualty. I mean, from evidence... You'll be the casualty. No. Survey says... The evidence points to they were just fine. Survey says... Nine, okay. Nine, and I, I this, base this, it off of evidence. I mean, if you look at crime reports, and we've got to believe this stuff, some of it, nine times out of ten when a firearm is displayed, the situation goes down because um, the bad guy so goes, james miller it. james yeah. miller says uh would you feel the same way if it was a poor couple that couldn't afford training yo you don't have no, to have money to I, think about I, situations like this okay you don't have fire, to have I money like that word training 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 is a yeah, no. training is training you don't have to go to a thousand dollar school to know how to shoot okay sorry all right training keep your finger off the trigger unless you want to kill something Okay, when you're ready to kill something or destroy something, put your finger on trigger and use it. Um, and don't point guns at things you don't want to kill. That's training, okay? Is that what we're talking about? I mean, <laughs> are we talking about? Or I know these people were probably lawyers and they had money and they lived in a mansion, but everybody's priority is not to go to training. Sorry. I'm not okay. saying, I'm not, there's, there's know, really I simple just, things just, that people can do without uh, going and spending well, days just, training or training every day you. of the week or whatever. There's a lot of practical things that they that they can do to um, uh, to avoid. Uh, they were in a, this is a very dangerous situation for these guys that they were in. Okay, on the outside, well, and then the one also. Yeah, okay, that's one. And, have, and then the one have, that they, they have, created, the one that they, they created a, also. Whoa, stop, stop! Stop! They didn't create this. Those came into their property. They broke into their property. They created the situation. When you have a house full of stuff, you have a you have a store full of stuff. What happens? What happens? Somebody breaks in the door, 
and comes and steals your stuff. These people are not there to they'll start protesting until things oh look at man, look at the, I see a TV in there. Let's go get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't agree with you. I'm sorry. There ain't nothing uh, you know. You can't you can't really Okay, I'm just gonna say I understand what you're saying, Walter. I'm just gonna tell you having the gun is not is not good enough. <laughs> having just well, having it and not knowing what you're doing is not good enough. So and getting case, lucky, getting lucky that those people didn't understand that those guys didn't necessarily know what they're doing. Hey, they survived it. Okay, they survived it. They're they're okay. The people are no one. No one got hurt from those from the from those guys in the crowd, and they didn't get hurt. Their property is okay. But things could have gone wrong for them over things that they had control of, and that's what I'm trying to say to you. If you're already, if your adrenaline is pumping, and if if you're standing behind me. With your finger on the trigger and you have that gun, you, Walter, or you, Patrick, I would be very worried. I would be worried about you doing that, okay? Because you, you're creating a situation that you could do something that's wrong that you can't turn around and say, well, it was because these people came in here. It's because you were nervous and your finger's on the trigger and it goes off, okay? We, we shoot guns all the time. We know what comes out of that. We understand that. Just because you I, I, have I it you. doesn't make you doesn't make you a superhero or a bad. Okay. Uh, There's little things that that, nobody, if, that nobody, you can you're, find you're, anywhere you keep, you keep, that that would help save your life or save bad, someone you care about's life. You keep saying this about being a bad. Nobody said anybody was a bad. It's not about being a bad. <laughs> Nobody's a bad until they need to be a bad, or until it's over with. They can say they were bad. Even the bad aren't bad. <laughs> they all die the same way. They get shot the same way and die the same mm -hmm. way. They, they, those two could have been shot off their porch by somebody in the back of the crowd you didn't even see. Right? You know, or got a hit in their head with a rock. But it's uh, all what is, and it doesn't matter. Right, and it doesn't you matter. You look at the situation for what it is. I they killed, successfully I could, defended their property. You know, I could fall off the chair tonight and get killed, too. Yeah, so, I carry my revolver <laughs> in single action says, like I say, two things can be right at the same time. You both are right. I'm trying to say I'm trying to say two things at the same time. I'm not those knocking those. Trying to be bad. I'm not. Tr I'm not trying to knock those guys for what they're doing. Okay, I'm not trying to knock them for what they're doing. But you know, there's things. There's like things. If you look at it and you think, oh yeah, this is totally, <laughs> this is totally awesome. There's nothing going wrong here on their part. Well, okay, fine. I get it. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, ra I'd rather uh, have, Rick says I'd if they would have been met with force on force, meaning gun on gun, they would have been done. No, that, and you, that okay. Here we go. You have no idea of that, to say that because you're talking. You're talking about. <laughs> you're talking about people that can't even. <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah, you don't, you don't have know. any. You don't have any idea. Once you again. don't know. You you, you don't, don't know. know. You're, it's all right. hypothetical. You have no right. idea yeah, what would have yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. You don't know until it happens. You know, it's one of those things. Uh, whatever. Okay, well, I'm done. Yeah, uh, lots of things we're talking about are hypothetical. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, saying saying that make that it's hypothetical. That's not you know. I would say uh, this: you are you are better off to be deliberate than accidental. Okay. Try to be deliberate in what you do. That's. I was that's, deliberately that's speeding. That's what I would. Yeah, say, that's what I would say about it. Yeah. Try to be <laughs> deliberate in what you do, especially when your life is at stake and when lives of other people that you care about is at stake. That's what I would say. That's that's my feeling on that. Try to be deliberate because once something happens, yeah. you cannot actually take that back. OK, yep. so try to be deliberate about it. That's uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if anyone has. Uh, let's see what. Da, 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 da. I gotta get a pink. Sh I gotta get a pink shirt. That's all of a sudden. Kathleen, to, music to... lover says those people voted for anti-gun laws. Anyone want to bet? I don't know. We'll find out like who they are and what. Once they again, do. that doesn't. I'm not really bothered make any... by that. So the pink shirt it doesn't what... matter. What they voted for. Yeah, I agree with that. It doesn't matter. They die. They, they die the same way the other people yeah. die. Yeah. Uh... It doesn't matter what they would. For. Chris Delboy wants to move us to move on to another subject. Uh, we'll see, maybe. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> uh, my, my main thing wasn't what started all this is just to, we're, we're, we are much like in politics, you know, like the Democrats, they stay together and focus. Even though they hate each other's guts, they'll come together at the end to focus the win. The, 
the I don't want to use the two A. I don't like that two A community. Gun owners in general, um, whether you're a two A person or you're just a gun owner, they devour themselves when something goes weird. Or they or they don't like the color of that guy's gun, or they don't like the color of the shirt. He's got plaid on. They just eat each other alive. Instead of just focusing on the on the what's going on, they just oh you know he's a he's a this or he's a that. He probably voted for it. Oh, and it's like it doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm done. I think with opinion, I think first of all with opinion, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Oh sure. Right? They are. And I don't think that giving, um, so I don't think, for, so for example, let's say gun guys are out there saying, oh, these guys should have had better gun handling, which is what I, for example, I was looking at Iraq Veterans post, right? Eric threw up a post. Let me see. I'll go pull up his post so I don't uh, misquote this thing. Oh, and Rick's is saying about gated communities. In Florida, you can't close a gate on a road unless you maintain that road. Yeah, in this, in, so, in this in this place, you, they had the right to do that. If it's a private road, they can close that f-ing gate anytime they want and yeah. keep out whoever they want. Yeah, in some parts of St. Louis, uh, I, so I did some reading on this story. In some parts of St. Louis, you can, you can still do this, right? So this is like an old thing that used to exist. This community is an old community. This house is an old house that they bought and they redid, and they had the they had the right. This is like all private property. Once those Have guys, guys went the, into those to those gates, they were on private property for the they whole. They were trespassing. Community. Have you trespassing. guys seen the inside of that house, by the way? Uh, it probably looks like the friggin'. It's it, when you think of a when you think of an old world mansion, mm-hmm. that's what it was. Yeah, this I mean, thing massive, looks old. Yeah. Massive marble staircase, massive study with a big wooden ornate fireplace. It was unbelievable on the inside. Yeah, and, and then, then some that's people cool like go. Oh, well, the mayor lives on this private road or private community. So what? Yeah, yeah, I mean, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, uh, also, like, these people did spend a lot of money, from what I read, rebuilding this place. Maybe they didn't, yes. want, to, you know, didn't want it to be burned down for no reason. Let me, just, can I, can I, can I, let me just get Eric's thing in here for a second, okay? I'll throw it up here. He says, uh, the gun handling was laughable, but this is why we have the Second Amendment. Um, guess who didn't have his business ransacked and looted? This, I think this was a private home. But he but he shared this thing? He put that up there? I'm okay. with Eric Thank you. Now. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then if it's you, ugly, but it worked. Yeah. So, um, and then also, where was this post? I shared it with you guys here. I'm going to try to pull it up here. If you guys go to uh, Ballistic Inc., which uh, I recommend you go to. Not John if Doe, you're no. looking, If you're looking, huh? John Doe, Hank for governor, mandating gun training before own firearm. I, I said no. No, second no I'm not saying that. I never said that. So yeah, no. that's, that's a leftist way of... That yeah, I never, I never not, said that. Because one man's gun training is a thousand dollar course. But I think yeah, in I the know. in the after action of this, what do we call? Was it Monday night? Monday night quarterbacking. Monday night quarterbacking. Yeah, I have the right to Monday night quarterback it. Anyway, let me show you guys this. Uh, so here's the Hank Strange store in Ballistic Inc. And look what's on there. The Catalina wine mixer T-shirt. This is basically a T-shirt. Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's a, so, it's not. A- Catalina wine mixer. Yeah, hey. You going to the Catalina yeah. wine mixer? Yeah. So, uh, and and it's got these it's got these guys on it. Or, Who knows or, what that's or, from, by the way? Or someone that looks that is from Step Brothers. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I know you know what it is. I was asking the crowd, but now you gotta throw it out there. <laughs> anyway, so it. listen, if you guys Step are interested, in, if you're Step Brothers, yeah, if you're interested in getting this T-shirt or whatever, when you buy it from Ballistic Inc. in the drop down, you could pick Hank Strange, and that will help support us. So there you go. You know, you you want to get the Catalina wine mixer shirt from over there? You can uh, pick Hank Strange as the beneficiary of your support, and uh, that that helps us out. So there you go. And I'll be sure to get uh, Walter some training with the money. What the? Listen, what are you yeah, up to, you Walter? Training. What the? Uh oh. We lost. Can training. you hear us, Walter? I clicked on one of the things in the in the in our chat, and it didn't open up. It just went to Google. Oh, I like about... that better, Hank. You need to take CB's idea and make a uh, make a T-shirt called the Box Wine Boogie Boogs, Boogie Boogs, oh my or God. the Box Wine Boogie Boys. Where is that? Oh, here I see CB it. CB just wine. said that instead of Catalina boogie Wine boogie. Mixer, the Box Wine Boogie Boys. <laughs> Box oh, Wine. Oh my God. <laughs> make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.